Hello everyone, and welcome to the Thoughtful Free Space. Sorry this episode was delayed, so look forward for two uploads on Saturday as a special treat. Now today is the third episode for the fifth day in the week of fear. And last episode, I already alluded to what I was going to be talking about. Today deals with a fear for a certain type of animal. It creeps and crawls, and they come in all shapes and sizes. Today's episode is about spiders. Let's get into it. So funnily enough, I recently talked to a friend and found out he had a fear of spiders right before I needed to record this. Go figure, huh? Well, hopefully this episode will show why he and many others have this fear. Anyways, getting back on topic, the fear of spiders is specifically called arachnophobia. This doesn't have to apply solely to spiders, and can also apply to other arachnids like scorpions. While I definitely have a dislike for spiders, I do not, would not want to come across a scorpion. First off, let's learn a little bit about arachnids. Arachnids are a group of invertebrate animals and are a class of arthropods. Now, arachnids come from the word arachne, which means spider, and all arachnids have eight legs. Now, while they all have eight legs, sometimes the forelimbs are converted into a specialized set of limbs, such as a scorpion's pedipalps, or what you all know as the giant meaty claws. Spiders are the largest group of arachnids, but arachnids also include things like scorpions, ticks, opiliones, or harvestmen, camel spiders, and mites. Now, arachnophobia is the number one fear in the world. Around one in three women over the globe are afraid of spiders, and while men have a similar statistic, they are less likely to admit to it. It's also one of the oldest fears to ever exist. Even those who may not be deathly afraid of spiders still feel symptoms similar to nervousness and anxiety. In a study of 261 people in the UK, 32% of women and 18% of men admitted to these feelings. That's 25% of the entire study group, which is amazing. Just like with darkness or other types of phobias, similar biological and psychological changes appear in people who feel this fear. People with arachnophobia can experience feelings of dizziness, sweating, nausea, and even thoughts of death. Now while most of these feelings are usually induced by spiders, sometimes these same feelings can be induced by the sight of cobwebs. Now, arachnophobia is different from nyctophobia for good reason. While nyctophobia is an irrational fear, the fear of spiders comes from an evolutionary basis. There are many different types of spiders, with a fair amount of spiders being venomous, while some are thought to cause infection and disease. Other reasons why people come to fear spiders may be from a learned behavior from seeing others fearful of them. In other cases, living in a culture fearful of spiders might contribute to it, or even experiencing a traumatic experience from spiders. Now, we need to remember, while spiders can be fearful, creepy and crawly as they are, there are many other annoying insects in the world. Things like flies and mosquitoes and ants. These are the types of insects spiders will eat. They hide and creep in the darkness, away from our sight. We don't want to see them, and they probably don't want to see us. So be thankful they at least get rid of some of the more annoying insects. And that is the fear of spiders. Arachnophobia. Hopefully you all learned something new, or at least think about it in a different way. The next episode may make you feel a little closed in, or perhaps alone with too much space. If you liked it, show your love with a thumb and subscribe for more. Thank you very much, and stay awesome.